two. Welcome to Leicester Fan TV. Today we're talking about quite some uh, breaking news for Fana to Chelsea. It's been rumoured quite a lot recently. He's obviously one of our better players. He's on a five-year contract, so we know that it's going to be worth quite a lot for them. Uh, they, I mean, they've got the money for it. It's quite obvious that, that you know, they're ready to spend the big bucks they have done in the past. It's rumoured to be around £80 million pounds for him to go. What do you think for that, really? £80 million pounds for Fana to Chelsea? Well, Rogers, Rogers said that he wasn't on the table. Um, oh, he wasn't on the table to sell, and if the price is right, yes, we all know he probably will go. Yeah. But it's it's a difficult one. I don't want him to go. He's probably the biggest one we would miss if he did go. I think he's like a Van Dyke for like a Leicester. I think it's a hard one. I don't want him to go, like I say, but if the price is right, he will go. I agree with that. I think we need to be careful of how we do business. Obviously, they want 80 million for him, which is all great and good. It's like great 80 million pounds. It's another Maguire situation. You know, it's going to pay for a lot for the club, but we need to do something about that and quickly. Fafana's easily our best centre back. You know, we've got. I don't. We've don't got. Not got anyone better really than him. And the season starts in six days now. It's Monday. We're playing Brentford on Sunday. But there, all these rumours are coming out about Casper and, you know, all these players that could be going, and yet there's nothing about anyone coming in or anyone good, you know, like, if a final was to go, we can't even have options like Tarkowski anymore, who could fill in and do a job. We, we might have to settle, and I hate to say it, for another Vestergaard, and it's these kind of players, when you let Fafana go for £80 million, pounds, we bring in someone who's not as good as Fafana, where, where are we going to sit in the table if we, you know, if we sell all our good players and we don't actually bring anyone in this season? Again, like you say, Restegard may be the, the main man in that squad if, if someone like Fafana does go. I've kind of backed Restegard maybe being in that team. Yes, it over might be. Fafana. Obviously, not over Fafana, but if the case is that Fafana does go, maybe. So if Fafana goes for 80 million, you wouldn't sign anyone else. You'd trust a 50 million pound who <laughs> had, a, and to be honest with everyone, a crap season last season. We've still got someone like Suinchu. Yes, he's not been the greatest at times, but we know he's, he's still a OK defender at times. And I think you're not going to be able to replace someone as good as Fafana either way. I, so when it comes to getting a new defender in, I, I think we'll have to risk playing I agree and like disagree. Them. I think if we're selling for £80 million, pounds, we can go and sign someone for £50 million pounds and we're still making a profit. We can go sign someone for £60 million and we're still making a profit. But that's not, that's not what Leicester is. I know it's is, not is Leicester's it? way, but I honestly fear this season that if we're selling all our good players and we're replacing them with... I know Fafana, when we signed him, he was a prospect player, up and coming, and... You know, there's only so many chances we can risk on that because when you had for fun, we had the likes of Suinju playing really well. Evans, you know, vice captain material. This season, Evans is injured. He gets injured too much. Suinju is too hot-headed, uh, hot-headed, to you know, to fit into the team as well as he has done. So for someone like Fafana to go, I think it's a real loss for us, and we need to replace him with a high-standard person. For me, if we're selling, because we've heard Casper might go, Madison might go, Yori's probably definitely going to go at some point. Fafana going to go. There are four probably standout players. If we were to get rid of them, where do you think you see us sitting in the season? It depends how many of them go. I've said that if we lose Casper, if we lose Casper alone, I, I still think we can hit it. I still think we can hit Europe. If we if we start losing the likes of Madison or Fafana, I think that's when you start really getting a hit into the team. We still someone like we still got Ndidi in there, which for me is quite a big, very big one. Prone, yeah. He is very injury prone, but I think he's one of the guys that if he's in there consistently, I think he's probably I, a big part in staying up, staying quite high in the in the in the table. But these are all ifs and buts, though. We've we've seen it in preseason. How many players have been injured this preseason already? We've had four or five out. It doesn't help. With the, it doesn't help with the challenge that come in there. Like, no, but it's the Premier League. It's the same in the Premier League. They're going to be challenges. It is, but I think it, it's a difficult one to say because. I think we is can't it, is it injuries it because injuries. the players aren't fit? Because a lot of play, a lot of fans are saying that our team's been looking sharp at this season. Maybe we are being just very unlucky. It might just again. be unlucky. You, it, you're never going to be able to tell if it's down to fitness or to unlucky because we're not. Unless Rogers comes out and says we're never going to know. We've got a new fitness team. This I think are they from Southampton? I'm not too sure, but we've definitely got a new fitness squad this season. Yeah. So if they're still getting injured, that could just be down to luck. But That's what the, me, players, the players themselves could just be very injury prone. Pereira, the past two seasons, has been very injury prone. So we've got to be, you know, we've got to be lucky and we've got to think about what we get, which is where we come back to Fafana. If we sell Fafana, 
who do we who comes in? Soy and and Evans probably. If, who if Evans get injured like he can, we know he can. That's Soy and and Martin for me. They're a bad pairing. They're both too hot headed and they're both just going to do irrational tackles. We saw it last season when they played together. Soy and runs up full misses it. The amount of times I saw him do that, where he'd run up off the line, a, you know, a better player runs it around him and then they go score. If Casper's not in goal and it's Iverson, does he have the balls to come out and stand up his ground in his first season in the Premier League? It all flows together. We need to keep these players or we need to replace them as soon as possible with quality. If Casper goes, sign another Premier League keeper who's proven. If Fafana goes, sign another Premier League defender who's proven. There's no point dilly dallying with players that are not or who could be players this season because it. It's all well and good being could be players, but we could very easily get relegated next season if we lose these key players. In my eyes, I don't think it's. I don't. I don't. It's honestly, not a top I don't six think. Mentality. Yes, it might not be a top six or it might not be top ten, but going forward, even if we lose two or three of our big players, I still think we've got the squad to make sure we stay up. I see. I disagree with that. I think we've got a good squad at the moment, but we don't have much depth, and I know we don't have many. Uh, I feel like got too much depth at the moment. But they're not good enough depth. It's not like you can say, in your eyes, you know, Fafana's a massive loss, isn't it, for everyone? It's not, I don't think we have a good enough replacement if Fafana goes this right now. I think we would need mm. to sign a new centre back if Fafana was to go. Same with a keeper, same with Madison, same with any player that really goes in the moment. The starting 11 is okay. The only to play side, so we don't need to play as a defensive midfielder. We've got four or five of them. The mid- midfield's pretty much fine, but like, like we said, you know, for farmers going. That's the big question. Does if he, he go? go? If he goes, you know, I don't think we can really pin it on Vestergaard. You soon So, what do you guys think to for Farner going? Do you think he's going to stay this season? If the money's right, do you think he'll go? Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and have your say in the comments.